Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Working Man's Road to Glory episode 28. You can see in the background there I did a two player pack. I generally don't record these because they're crap and it's just when I'm bored. But if something good comes on I will let you know. As you see there we get Casemiro. Not going to use him. Don't have a Liga team. Don't think his card looks great. It doesn't look like it has enough pace for my liking. Anyway the stuff from our online draft there. The two silvers. Sold. We actually made profit from those. More bronze pack method in the background. If you're not doing it, you are a fool because marquee matchups came out and I made bank. That will be later in the episode, though. You see there, the team has changed a little bit. There will also be a squad builder tomorrow because it's changed a little bit more. You're going to see some upcoming seasons gameplay. Um, division something? Seven, I believe. Uh... Really, I'm just playing about with formations at the moment. I want to move away from the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow, but every time I do, I struggle. I can't get a 4-3-3 to work. I feel like the striker's too isolated. Um, I tried false nine. That's been my favourite formation throughout the years. By a long way. I used to love false nine. I used to thought it worked magnificently well. This year, I could not get it to work. I, the striker's isolated. I can't seem to get the midfield to get involved. can't get the wingers involved. It's just incredibly hard. You see Division 7 here, they're not the best teams we're coming up against, which is fortunate for us. But we get things underway here with a little cutback that completely fails. Salah doing some dribbling. Back to Aurier. Aurier to Zuba, who, by the way, is fantastic. We're going to be doing a Goretzka versus Zuba episode. Episode, it's going to be a separate thing. A Goretzka versus Zuba review, because they've got such similar stats, and one's 200k and one's 10k. <laughs> And I'm going to have to get some more games under my belt to tell you which one's better. But uh, it's going to be interesting because looking at their card stats, they're almost identical. Their in-game stats are almost identical as well. But yeah, this game, these games, I was just toying about with formations, to be honest. I went from 4-3-3, 4-2-3-1, 4-5-1. One. I just didn't know what to do. Nothing was working for me except the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. What formations are you guys finding useful? Because I want to move away from the 4 one 2 one 2 narrow. I feel like it's just such a counter-attack formation. I want to get a little bit more possession-based, but I just don't know how to use these formations. We come up against a really solid 3-5-2 team here. And this game was horrendous. The lag was unbelievable. I think it took me about half an hour to finish this match. I don't know why it didn't disconnect, but it took so long. Genuinely took about twice as long as it normally does to finish the game. Ridiculous. What was I doing in this game? I think I'd swap back to the 4-1-2-1-2 in this game because this is what I mean. I can't get anything else to work. Those little runs and interplays between the strikers is what I find perfect. I've tried 3 at the back. I've tried 3-5-2. I've tried 4-2-3-1, 4-5-1, 4-3-3. What formation are you guys using and is it working? And if it is, how do you play it? Let me know. Do you play a slow possession style? Do you play counter-attack? What do you do? Because I want to know. I want to be able to move away from 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. But as of right now, I really cannot. Beautiful little turn there by Salah and a through ball. Phenomenal player. I considered selling him because he scored a couple of goals for Liverpool last night, but I don't want to get rid of him. Honestly, if he gets another upgrade, he's already the best right winger in the Premier League, in my opinion. You've got Willian, probably a close second, but Salah's phenomenal. I just don't want to get rid of him. Anyway, guys, the gameplay is about to end as we pick up the third goal and win this 3 0. And we're going to go into some live marquee matchup packs where we did indeed pull some big walkout players from some absolutely terrible packs but yeah let me know formations down below please let's go get in to the live stuff all right guys so we are back it is marquee matchups once again and i tell you what we have made an absolute killing off the market six thousand coins eleven thousand sixteen thousand twenty one thousand twenty five thousand 29,000, 34,000, 39,000, 42,000, uh, 43,000, 43,000 coins from some bronze packs. Absolutely killing it. Antonio is unfortunately going to be no more. His price has crashed as hell. Hopefully because he's a cam, we'll be able to recoup a little bit more moolah for him. Can't get rid of these fitness cards, however. What's this guy going for now? 2,900. Brilliant. 
And we'll take that. 2400 coins. Made absolute bank off of this because of the bronze pack method. 750, 400. Eh, we'll take. We'll take the 300 coins we'll get from you. That's better than nothing. And have I got anything else in here of more players? Uh, no, not really. This guy. I doubt you sell for that much anymore. 1500. That's fine. You're a duplicate anyway. We'll get rid of you. Alright. We have, of course, completed the marquee matchups. I had everything in the club, fortunately, bar the Eredivisie players. I actually had only one goal, strangely. But had to go out and buy two. Where are they? Uh, two Ajax players to get the chemistry. Olympic Marseille v Paris. Again, everything in the club. Nice and simple. Everyone in. Not hard requirements. Let's get our gold players back. Is that not even a rare one? Does that mean you only get one rare player out of that? That's terrible if that's the case. Again, everything in the club already. Managed to clear it all out. And we get an Electrum player. That's terrible as well. I didn't realise just how bad these packs are. Fire Norden Ajax. We had to pick up Nuri for 1100 and De Jong for 1000 Everything else, again, already in the club as we get rid of that. Happy days. What's that? A Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. If that's genuinely the best pack out of all of this, that is so disappointing. And we get a Jumbo Silver Pack from this. Again, already everything in the club from Bronze Packs and Bronze Upgrades. Happy, happy days. Marquee matchups completed. Premium gold players pack. Woo! These packs are genuinely dreadful. Like, I, I do believe these are some of the worst packs I've ever seen from marquee matchups. Let's start out with the silver pack. Let's hope for some relevant players to the SBCs, to the marquee matchups that are out right now. Oh. Eh. The Liga player, at least. Anyone else in there that'll sell? Do, 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 do. Oh, you might go. Monterey player. Oh, do we keep him? Do we sell him? Let's sell him. 4,500 coins. Get rid of you for 4k. Happy days, happy days. Uh, on the off chance you sell because you're Canadian, I find it doubtful. Yeah. Uh, free squad fitnesses. That's alright. Oh, an anchor. Nice. That's like 3k. We're going to keep that, though, and we're going to actually put that on one of our players. Do, 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 uh, oh, God, these are all terrible. Oh, it is at least a premium gold one. All right, let's do the Electrum Players Pack, because I've got a feeling I'm not even going to get a rare gold out of this. It's not a board. Oh, it is a rare gold, at least, so that's something. Anything good? Oh, Paulson. Crap. Utter garbage. Instantly no. Anything else? Oh, Motta, you might sell at the moment. People might need the PSG players. 2K, 1900. Uh, we're going to hold on to you for that. 2K doesn't really seem worth it. Oh, lovely jubbly. Another Mexican League player. 3,800. Sound as a pound. Get rid of you for 3,400. And is that a Turkish League's player I spy in the corner? Yes, it is. 1,800. Yeah, that's fine. You can go. We will, of course, get those done eventually, but we're not in any rush to do them. We'll wait for the prices to come down still even more. Uh, I guess gold players pack next. Come on, just a rare gold is all I ask for. A board would be delightful, but we can't get our hopes up. Not when you only get one rare. Actually, speaking of, oh, hello, uh, you might go for a little bit for the Zenit matchup. Can you get a board for, what's his name, the 84 rated non-inform? Is that a thing? Can you actually do that? 2000. We might get rid of you for 2000 because I have indeed done the Zenit one. So, you can get on out of there. Who else have we got? We've got you. I haven't done Ruben Kazan, so hold on to you. I haven't done them either. And the golds generally aren't worth too much. Not great so far. Gotta be honest. In fact, pretty tragic. We'll do the premium gold pack now. Now we're looking for a board out of these last two packs. It's what we want, what we want. Oh, we get the board, we get the board. Alright, it's not an inform. It's not anything special. Again, Cavani! Two days in a row! <laughs> Get in! 
50k right there. That's a result. Oh, I was hoping it'd be Suarez, but Cavani will take that. Anything else? Oh, and a gay as well. We getting all gay up in here. Cavani. Oh, baby, baby. Oh, baby, baby. Your price has come down. But it doesn't matter. Lovely, jubbly. 44k. The pack luck is back. What does Idrissa Gay go for? 10k? Oh, ooh, ooh. Nine and a half. Probably about nine. We'll put you up for 9.2. Happy days. That has made this all worth it already. Nothing else in there worth selling. Be a Biani. I'm sure you will come in handy at some point when we need some French players uh, for an SBC. So we'll hold on to you. And then the final pack. Let's hope for a board. Come on, one more board. One more board. One board, one board, 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 board. We get a board. It's not an inform again. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Ah, oh, Sheko. Ah. Oh. All right. Let's hope for something else in the pack. Something, something like a Martial, a Bakayoko, a Jesus, a Rashford. Come on, show me that. Why do you do this to me, EA? Ooh. Hang on. I might forgive you, EA. Let's see what we get in here. Oh, okay, 3k, not bad at all. I believe I've done Traps and Spore as well, so we'll get rid of you. Very nice packs. We're pulling ourselves a nice little walkout player in Cavani there. Uh, I haven't done that league, that team either, so we'll hold on to you. And um, pack. You're alright. Are you going to sell for anything? Nah, so we'll stick you in the transfer list for the time being. Not bad, not bad from those marquee matchups, guys. You've got to admit there. I'm going to end up pulling ourselves about 60k maybe from that. So that puts us in oh, the pack luck. It's just been on point. Just been on point so far in this road to glory. So let's have a look at what we're getting out of this. 4k, 7, 8, 10, 54, 63. 65, 65,000 coins from that marquee matchup, so you can't knock it, but we've got to say that's pretty, pretty decent. Anyway, guys, this is where we're going to leave it. Thank you for watching. How did your marquee matchups do? Did you get a walkout? Did you get anything good? Let me know down below. And if you want to see more, please like and subscribe, and I will talk to you later.